Hey, this is Francis Tapon with wanderlearn.com. This episode is going to be short and it's just about Johnny Ward talking about how many countries are there in the world. It seems like a very simple question and it is, but it's a complicated answer. And he goes over that in a brief way. For a more in-depth study of that question, go to the link below. It's a video made by Rick Gazarian of Counting Countries a real thorough deep dive on this complex issue about how many countries are there in the world. But first, I wanted to give you a quick update. As of April 25th, Johnny Ward is going to be climbing up Mount Everest. He's been at base camp for six days, and this is the latest news as of today. He's Tomorrow morning, he's gonna wake up and start going up to Camp 1 through the Kumbu Icefall, which is a gnarly, dangerous part, arguably the most dangerous part of all of the mountain, which is all the way at the bottom of the mountain, ironically. He has to get through that, probably at night is when he's gonna be doing it, and then getting to camp one. And after camp one, he's gonna to go to camp two. And then after that, is he gonna to go to camp three? No, he's gonna turn around and go all the way back down to base camp. Why this? Because you need to acclimatize. You have to go up and your body produces more red blood cells as the air gets thinner and then with that stronger red blood cell count, you can go down and recover down at lower altitudes where there's more oxygen. And then it'll eventually you go right back up through the Kumbu Ice Fall again, go up to maybe camp three or four, then you come all the way back down, you go all the way up. You do this for about uh, a month to, two, uh, to six weeks, hoping to summit sometime at the end of May. So that's the update from Johnny Ward. And now listen to Johnny Ward talk about how many countries are there in the world. Don't forget to like and subscribe this and share it with your and become a patron at patreon.com slash ftapon. Visit wanderlearn.com to spread this message. So every country in the world is kind of a touchy subject, you know, because what's yes. a country, what, what qualifies a country? Is uh, Ukraine a country? It depends what, what time this uh, podcast gets published, I guess. No, it depends also if you're a certain type of Russian who says, no, they're just part of Russia. Um, so the UN recognizes 193 countries right so loads of people who are trying to visit every country in the world go for 193 right. but, but but then you get into politics for example i think everyone who's not chinese would say that taiwan is a country it is well it is a country mm -hmm. but the un don't recognize it because of the political pressure and power that china have right so you can't exclusively use that 193 so you have to add china for, uh, taiwan for sure which is 194 and then vatican kosovo palestine all these places which are countries by every definition mm -hmm. so anyway that gets inflated to 197 got it and then that was the goal i went off my 10-year journey was 197 mm -hmm. um and then I finished. what about what how do you feel about since we're here in mauritania mm -hmm. just north of us is the western sahara exactly so what? that's how i got this this number of 205 then so that un and other bodies have got these things called observer states which is essentially regions that are almost countries what about sea land have you heard of them yeah i know it yeah that's the oil rig off the yeah. coast of england yeah, yeah. is that is that in the 205 no that's not okay. in the 205. Okay. <laughs> it's countries that are almost countries there's abkhazia um south ossetia western sahara kurdistan somaliland okay. all, all these countries that are have got their own passports and currencies oh, really? but but country but powerful nations like the us and, and and china don't recognize them okay so there's a few more like that that aren't countries but kind of almost are